morning. We're gonna get started with a light warm up. Michelle, let's go with Michelle. She's step tapping. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it. Because we're gonna do a little something similar. Alright, keep step tapping. I'm just gonna get one more thing. And then add some arms. Arms bigger. Alright, take the arms overhead. Let's pick them up and down. Good. And a knee lift. Alright. Written by Michelle. Change the arms. Bring them in and out. Good. Lift up the knees. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Take it to a side to side lunge. Good. Nice warm up there. All right, shoulders roll back and forth, right and around. All right, eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come back to center, turn your toes, drop the hips and come up. Drop the hips, come up, tailbone underneath you. Four, three, Two, stay down on one. Pulse it down right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it here. Hinge forward, press your right shoulder forward. Other side. Side to side. Right, left, four more times. Four, three, two, one. Now fold to the center, straighten your legs, walk them a little bit further apart, fold in between your legs, let your head come down. Walk to your right leg, left hand down, right arm up, twist. For four, three, two, one, release. Other side, right hand down, left arm up, hold it. Hold here for four, three, Two, one, come back. Walk your hands forward. Shift your weight back, soften your knees, biceps by the ears. On your toes and lower. Up and down. Up, down. Four more high row. Good morning. Certainly morning there. Three, two, one. Walk it back in. Walk your feet a little closer. Right all up through your spine. Come up to standing, take your arms, just open and close them. Okay, the first exercise, you're gonna need one weight, but you'll need two weights for one of the other coming up exercises. Um, we do a little punching set, I know we did that yesterday, but you don't need to use weights, you can just use body weight for that. Um, but the first exercise is one weight, two exercises are one weight, and then we have two weights. Now here's the deal, everything is four reps, only four reps. But you're going to do it repeated for four, uh, for three minutes. So the first exercise is going to be a squat to an overhead press. So you're going to do a squat, press overhead. Four times on the right side. Four times on the left side. Then you've got four bent over rows and four bicep curls. Okay? And we're just going to repeat that over and over until I tell you the time is up. Alright? So it's... Uh, you don't have to go fast. If you get two rounds, you get two rounds. If you get 20 rounds, you get 20 rounds. All right, but have your second weight nearby. We'll do a couple rounds together until you feel comfortable knowing what we're doing. Um, I think you'll catch on right away, each one of you. All right, so pick up your one weight, moderate to heavy. It doesn't matter if it's the right hand or the left hand. Yes, yeah, Karen, if, I don't know if you can get it over your head, but if not, just go where you can. Okay? All right. Pick up your weights in four. Three, two, we're going. Let's go. So it's four reps. One, two, three, and four. Do the other arm, same thing. Four reps. One, two, three, and four. Pick up your second weight. Bent over rows for four, three, two, one, go. Four, so you, three, you don't want to waste too much time. Two, 
One, stand up, four bicep curls. Four, three, two, one. Now you can hold the other weight when you're squatting and just take one weight overhead for four, three, so you don't have to worry about changing weights all the time. Other side for four, here we go. Four, three, high dead, grab some weights. Two, medium to heavy weights. Okay, four bent over rows. So we're doing four reps of everything here. Four bent over rows, four curls, bicep curls. All right, you're a minute and change in. Go back to the right arm. So it's a squat, overhead press. Watch this, Deb. Four squats on the right side. And then four squats on the left side. From four squats, you have four bent over rows. Here we go, four bent over rows. Then four bicep curls. So I'll leave you to your own devices. When you want to go with me, that's fine. Two, I'm just gonna make my computer lighter. Three, four, then we're back to the right arm in the squat. Press it overhead. Four, three, Two, you're under a minute left. One, other side. Squat. Two. Three. You're gonna get as many rounds in. Four, bent over rows. Four. Three. Two. Bicep curls for four. Three, we're gonna end at three minutes wherever we are. Right side, squat. Squat, overhead press, four times. Three, two, other side, one. Four, three, two, one, bent over rows. You're gonna get these in, three, two, and one, put your weights down. I'm just gonna drop off my shirt here. All right, separate your feet with or without a light weight. Punches, you got 60 seconds of punches. Sit down low, three, two, we go. One, cross the body. Good, I want that rotation. Then add the arms. Sit lower. Good, cross the body. Go, 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 go. You're 30 in, you're 30 out. Go, cross, cross, cross. Good, rotation, good core work here. Sit lower, 15 seconds. Good, cross the body. Yeah, good, nice camera. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, roll it out, get some water. Moving on to our second round. Single leg deadlift with an upright row. So it's the same thing, four reps. That's all we're doing, four reps. So you don't have to remember any other numbers until like we get to the floor and four might become eight because it might be a uh, bicycle or something like that. So, uh, here we go. The first thing, single leg deadlift with an upright row, right arm, then left arm. Uh, then we have rear delt flies in a bent over position, and then hammer curls. So you may, if you're having weights, you may go to a lighter weight for the rear delt, you may not, you may be okay with four reps of that medium heavier weight, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is a single leg deadlift. That means put the weight into your right leg, left heel lifts. You can also have it behind you. You can also lift it off the floor. You choose. All right, in three, two, go. So we're here, single leg, single arm, one. Hinge forward, two. Hinge forward, three. And four, now just switch sides, go. Four, weight is in the left heel, three, two, 
One more. Good. Bring your hands together. Two weights, excuse me. Four rear delts. Four. Three. Bend over. Two. Now let's keep the bent over for the hammer curls. Go four. Three. Two. One. Now back to that single leg. And you can keep the weight in the other arm or drop it. One. Single leg. Weight is in the left leg. Two. Three. And four, switch sides. Weight in the right leg, four. Keep your wrist straight. Three, two, and one. Good, now you've got four rear delts. In a hinge position, two. You can stay here for your hammers, or you can come upright. You got four hammers. So four of everything. First two are deadlifts. Right side, so start with me or go on your own. You've got four deadlifts with an upright row. On the right side, and then on the left side, you're 90 seconds in. You got 90 to go. Switch sides. So they're, you know, they're gonna be imam. Uh, no, I'm sorry, we're not doing really imams, we're doing it. Hammers. Three, four, and the rear delts. Four, three, Two, hammer time. Four, three, two, one. Good, single leg deadlift, single arm upright row. Four, three, two, your heart rate should go up. One, switch sides. But you don't have to make it high intensity, super high intensity. You can go at your own pace. You don't have to go with me. You might go faster than me. Rear delts are next after you've done the rows. Uh, your, your deadlifts. Well, they are rows. Two, three, and hammer time. Four, three, two, single leg deadlift, right side. Four, three, two, one. You got 10 seconds, other side. 10, no, 4, <laughs> 3, 2, you might get one rear fly in, and rest. Put your weights down, separate your legs, sit low, alright, same crosses, cross the body from side to side, in 3, 2, go, good, twist, rotate through the torso. Sit lower if you've got a wide leg, bent knee, cross the body. Good. Twist, 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 twist. You're almost halfway there. Sit lower, go harder. Good. Yeah. 25 seconds. What it is, what it is, what it is, let's go. All right. 10 seconds. Rock steady. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come on down to the floor, adjust your cameras if you need to. All right, come on back down what it is. All right, this set is a bridge with a chest press, all at the same time. Remember, still four reps. The only one that's not going to be four reps, well, I'll show you what it is. It's, it is four reps, but it's two different exercises. So, the first one is going to be a bridge with a chest press. You have the option to just stay in the bridge or undo the arms or go down and up each time. All right, from there, you can keep your hips up or down and do a pullover crunch. I'm sorry, do a pullover. We'll end the crunch, yes. Let's do crunch. So let's go ahead and keep the hips on the floor, pullover with a crunch, four of those. Then you've got a single leg bicycle and straight leg, and it looks something like this. So the other leg can be on the floor, actually. It doesn't have to be in the air. So it's going to be a bent knee and a straight leg. That's one rep. 
This is one rep here, okay? So the other side, same thing. So bent knee and straight leg is one rep. You do four of those and four on the other side. So we'll start first with the bridges. All right, on your back with your heavy set of weights, one weight if you need it. Lift your hips up, decide if you're gonna go up and down or you're going to stay up in three, two, one. So you've got four presses, three, two, one. Lower your hips, take it for a pullover and a crunch for four. Three, lift your head and shoulders. Two, and one. Keep the weights down by your side. Right leg comes in bent and straight. One, bent and straight. Two, bent and straight. Three, one more on this side. Four, and up. Switch legs. Now the other leg, the leg that's not working, can be on the floor bent, straight in the air, straight off the floor. You know, whatever you feel good with. One more. Good, quickly pick up your weights. Go to the chest press, three, two, go. One, two, three, four. Good, lower your hips, bring the arms over, and crunch for four. Three, two, and one, weights down, right leg, knee, straight leg one, knee, straight leg two. Get that rotation. So your right arm stays on the floor as you rotate to the opposite elbow, opposite knee, switch sides. So get the rotation row. Good, one, two, three, one more. Good, pick up your weights. You're a little more than halfway in. One, two, three, four. Arms overhead, four crunches and pullovers. One, two, W there. Okay, yeah. Three, and four. Good, hands behind the head. Right leg moves, left arm goes to the outside of the knee. One, two, Right arm stays on the floor for a little assistance. All right, got 45 seconds. Other side. In, up. In, up. One more after this. Back to your bridge with, pull, uh, with chest press. When you're ready, go. Four, three, Two, stay up or down. One, pullovers. Crunch with it. Two, three, and four. Good right leg. You got four, three, two, one. Okay, hug your knees and I know you're gonna go crazy, so do two on the other side. <laughs> All right, I'm actually okay with it. All right. So come back. You're gonna put your hands behind your head for this one. I just need a little bit of water. 60 seconds. Crunches. Hands behind your head. Legs can be on the floor, in the air, or whatever you choose to do with them. Three, two, and go. Crunch, crunch. Keep your head in one position, tilt your pelvis. Stay with it. Pull the belly in, yeah, you could be at. Yeah, if you don't need your hands behind your head and you wanna just reach your arms out, go for it. Um, most of us seem to like to have the hands supporting the head, and that's just to support the weight of the head. All right. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, you're almost there. The legs aside. Yeah, they're happy when you're on the floor. <laughs> Tilt your pelvis, if your feet are on the floor in particular. You got just about 
15 seconds. Cute. Let them have fun. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Hug your knees back up to your chest. All right. All right. I'll come to your hands and knees. So we don't need weights um, for this, but you can have them nearby. Because I can't remember if we're going to use them yet. All right. So we're back to the three minutes. You've got push-ups, which I don't have to explain. So you can do it on a bench, on the floor, over a ball. Um, I would suggest, you know, keeping it with a wide arm, not necessarily triceps. From the um, push-ups, you're going to go into Superman four times. Bent arms or straight arms, four Supermans. Then you're going to do a um, deadlift. I'm sorry, a deadlift. A down, a down dog. You're going to take one hand to the opposite ankle. You're going to do that four times. And then the last one is hands on the floor, knees on the floor, then lift the knees and just tap one or two together for four, three, two, and one. All right, so it's like a hovering tabletop. Knees tap to the floor. Yeah? Okay, you don't have to memorize it, at least not in the beginning. You can go with me. Starting with four push-ups, then we have four Superman. So from your push-ups, just let yourself come down to the floor and then lift your um, upper and lower body up or whatever variation you want to go with that. You got it, Deb? Not that I know of. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you for sharing that. Happy birthday, Maria. All right. All right, guys. Four push-ups in three, in two, in one. Let's go. Four. You can have your knees down or up. Three. Two, one, all the way down to the floor. Four, three, two, one. Down dog, ankle taps. One, opposite hand to foot, two. You can shorten your stance, three, and four. Now don't have your tabletop tap. One, two, three, four. Go back to your push-ups. Four, three, two, one, on your belly, four, <clears throat> super persons, three, two, one, down dog, ankle taps, you can shorten your stance in your dog, two, three, four, and then hovering table, tap down, one, it's a small movement, two, three, four, again, you're on your own pace, if you can remember what we're doing, you've, oops, you've got four push-ups, three, Two, I guess I couldn't remember. One, four push-ups, four supermans, four down dog taps, four hovering tables. Good. Tap one, two, I know most of you at home, three, will be following me, but that's okay if you can do this on your own. You're 90 seconds in. Four, push-ups, four, three, two, one, all the way down, four, three, two, down dog, so you're on your pace or mine, and then hovering table, tap knees, hovering, not much movement going on there, three, four, back to your push-ups, you're just about 60 seconds left, two, three, four, all the way down, four, three, two, one. Should we do Maria's burpees for her? <laughs> for her birthday burpees? Two, three, four, tap the knees, four, three, two, one. You got a little bit more than 35 seconds. One, two, you can do this. Three, four, on your belly. Four, three, two, one, down dog, tap one, two, three, four, hovering table, four, three, two, one, get your push-ups in, maybe you get into something else, maybe a little Superman, a quick little Superman for three, 
two, and rest on your back. On your back. All right. You got 60 seconds of crunches. Second set, do a little something different perhaps than the first set that you did. All right, feet down, feet up. Ankles crossed, whatever you'd like. Three, and two, and one, good. If you have your legs up, keep them over your hips, not over your belly, okay? So lift your head and shoulders up a little further. Keep it moving. Whoops. Good. I'm going to let you choose your version. Pick up a dog and do it. Okay, 45 seconds. Oh, keep going. Good. All right. Stay with it. Yeah, rotate the torso. Get to the outside of that knee dip. Really work through it. You got 20 seconds, good. Yeah, they don't have to be fast. They just have to be really good form. Last 10 seconds, you got this. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Lay down, hug your knees in. All right. Stretch your arms and legs out straight. We got one more set. Let's see. Oh, but of course you're not going to love these. Okay. So the first, <laughs> I saved the best for last, I guess. Let's see. If we don't need weights, I'm just going to move these weights out of the way. And I might just go on to my other mat because it doesn't move quite as much. So the first um, four. Now, I'm only doing four. That means one, two, three, four, not four sets. So it's one, two, three, four mount climbers, one, two, three, four plank jacks. All right? Then, okay, so four mount climbers, that means one, two, three, four. Now, if you don't want to go fast, just do it like a, a knee to elbow. You can do it from a down dog. You can do it from a plank. You can do it from your knees. All right, same thing with the plank jacks. So if you don't want to jump your feet apart, just step out to the side. Just do four counts of that. Then you're going to do a rollover. I'm going to have to go back and forth between two mats. You're going to do a rollover, which looks like this, into a teaser pause. That didn't look so good. So you can hold on to your legs and pause. Kick your legs overhead and then pause for of those. Make sure when you come down from rolling back that you don't go back with a flat back and, and tap your tailbone, but you come down and round your back as you come up. Okay, so you want to get, keep that scoop so you don't tap, tap into your tailbone. And then the last one is going to be a single leg, a uh, straight leg, excuse me, sit up. Now, here's the deal, guys. Not from over your head with momentum. Over your shoulders, come up, reach beyond your toes, roll down. If that doesn't work, bend your knees and just reach beyond your toes. If that doesn't work, hold on to your thighs. And if that doesn't work, legs in the air crunch. <laughs> I give you a lot of options, okay? So like I said, I'm going to go back and forth between two different mats just because my body will, um, my mat will slide. All right, so we've got three minutes here. Four mountain climbers, four plank jacks, four pullover, uh, four rollover teasers, and four straight leg or any variation sit-ups, all right? In three, two, we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On your backs, roll over. One, hold on to your legs, it's fine. Two, let's all hold on to our legs. Two, now the legs can be bent or straight. Three, round your back on the way up. And four, and then go ahead and straighten out your legs. Do a sit up. One, I want to see those arms not going over your head. Two, three, And four, good, back to your hands and knees or variation for your mountain climbers, four of them. One, two, three, four, four jacks, you step out to the side, three, four. Keep it going on your back. Oh, I can just move this mat all over the place. Roll over teasers, hold on to the back of your thighs, but come up and try to straighten your legs. Kick back, two, 
three, four, straight leg sit-ups. One, reach beyond your toes. Two, three, and four. Back to your mountain climbers. You might be ahead of me, you might be behind me. Four mountain climbers. We go. One, two, three, four, four jacks. Two, three, four. So you do get a little rest, right? It's not all on your arms. Four rollover teasers. Three, two, scoop out your belly on the way up. One, straight legs, sit up. Four, reach beyond your toes. Three, you got a minute left. Two, and one. Come to your hands and knees, get it onto your mountain climbers. You got one, two, three, four. You got four jacks. Three, two, one. You got your teasers, roll over teasers. So roll all the way back. One, two, Remember, you can be on your own time. Three, four, legs out straight, sit-ups. One, two, three, and four. You still got time for those mountain climbers. Let's go. One, two, three, four jacks. One, two, Three, four, and rest. <sighs> okay, saved by the bell. All right, you got a 60 second, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna do a seated punch. <clears throat> Karen, you're still in the game. All right, sit up tall, <clears throat> and then hinge back. If you wanna put your small ball behind your back, that's fine, all right? <clears throat> hinge back. Cross the body punches, and then we'll do some crunches. Punches and crunches, how's that? That's what we'll do in our class. Punches and crunches. All right, <clears throat> sit up tall, weights or no weights. In three, you're just gonna hinge back to like one o'clock. Two, and one, go. One, cross, cross, cross. You have the option of lifting up your legs, you don't need to, but get across the body. So I want you to really feel that same rotation you felt on the standing. Punch, 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 punch. Good, good, good. Rotate, rotate, Ted. Get more of the torso going, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now sit up. Sit up all the way. Two. If you need a hand behind your thighs, good. Four. Five. I don't know why I'm counting, you got 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, crunch or a sit up. Three, two, stay up, punch. Come on, looking for some hot stuff here. Cross body. Keep going, keep going. We're going into a straight leg soon. On the floor though. 10 seconds. Three, two, legs out, arms up. Sit up, reach for your toes. All the way, sit up. We did these. If you don't get all the way up, it's a crunch. I just thought I could do a little break on your hips here. Five seconds. Three, two. Now stay on your back. Legs in the air, punch to the opposite ankle. If you need to put a hand behind your head and then just reach and tap the ankle. Keep going. 15 seconds. Two, 
Stay with it. I'm just watching this one. Five, four, three, two. No hands behind the head. Bent knees are straight. Tap your legs to the floor. Tap down. Good. Move out of the hip, not the knee. So the knee position doesn't change. Belly and ribs down. Good, you have about 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Oh, my watch never worked. Okay. All right. Hot stuff. All right. Hug your knees into your chest. Do some really good stretching today. Hug your knees all the way up. Good, Karen. I'm glad you're still here. Take your soles of your feet to the ceiling and bring your knees on the outside of your rib cage and draw the legs down, but keep your tailbone on the floor. Open your arms to a T. Bring your knees together, shift your hips right, let your knees fall over to the left side. Take your left hand on your outer, left, uh, outer right thigh, right arm over your head. Tomorrow's Thursday, um, we can meet for a a little bit of core stretch. How's that? Core stretch. I wonder what that's all about. Open your arms to a T. Bring your knees to the center. Shift your hips left. Let your knees fall over to the right side. Right hand down, side left thigh. Left arm over the head. And then come on back to the center. Hug your knees into your chest. And then rock and roll yourself up to sitting. Come into a straddle, it doesn't have to be big. Right, just, just wider than your hips if possible, but if not, that's okay. Stretch your arms out to the side. Lift your chest up. Rotate to the right side. Reach your left hand to your right leg and rotate your right arm behind you. Relax your shoulders. Lengthen your spine, inhale and rotate. Now take the right arm behind you and into your back pocket. Take your left ear towards your right knee. So you're rotating the torso. Both hips are on the floor. So your left hip is still on the floor. Inhale, come up. Release the arms. Stretch them out. Turn to your left side. Right arm to the outside of the or towards the left ankle. It doesn't matter. Left arm back behind you. Rotate. And then take the arm behind you if you can find it. Great. If not, don't worry. Right here towards the, uh, the left leg. Keep lengthening and keep twisting. Inhale, come back to center. Extend your arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward. And release your hands to the floor. Pull your shoulders back, collarbones broad. Walk your hands a little further. Keep your back flat. Walk a little further if you can. Good, now walk over to your right side again. Keep your right hand on the inside of your foot. Take your left arm up and stretch up and over. Keep your left hip grounded. Lift out of your torso, no collapsing. So it's like you've got a lift on the right side of your torso and a lift on the left side of your torso, picking you up out of your pelvis and then leaning over so your right side should be elevated. Inhale, come back up and do the same thing, left side. So walk it out, rotate the torso, lift the left side of your body up and take the right arm up and overhead. Relax the shoulders, your head is in line with your spine, so kind of keep a gaze out in front of you. Rotate the torso. Inhale, come back up, both arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward and reach forward. See if you got a little more space this time. Reach a little bit more forward, relax the shoulders down. Turn the toes up and out, breathe in and breathe out. 
And keep your body in this position and reach both arms out to either leg, right? So reach out, inhale, and exhale. Bye. Okay. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Come back to center. Bring your legs together and let's get back onto our hands and knees, cat cow. Hands under shoulders. Hips and shoulders width apart with the hands and knees, knees under the hips. Tuck the toe, dip the belly, arch the back. Exhale, round and curl, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Inhale, extend your spine. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, extend, <coughs> excuse me, walk the hands forward and bring the forehead or the chin to the floor. Karen, okay, you're still there, okay, good. Then release the toes and push all the way back to a child's pose. Breathe across the body, shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip, rib to rib. Walk over to your right side, left hand on top of the right arm, pull your hips to the left side. Come back to center, go to the other side. Good. Inhale, come back to center, child's pose. Come onto your knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Chest towards your thighs, hang your head, shake it out, yes and no. Soften your knees as you walk your hands back to your feet. Take your arms behind your back, take a towel, a strap, and bring your arms over your head. Head down, hips up, breathe. Release your arms and let them dangle, tuck the chin into the chest. Roll up through your spine, take your time. Roll the shoulders back and around. Stretch your arms overhead. Interlace your fingers, turn the palms inside out, upside down, and one more time, lean over to the right side. You got the whole thing in, Karen. Inhale back to center. Exhale up and over the left side. Inhale, return to center, lift your heart up. Exhale, put your hands to your back, fingers in either direction, just lift your chest up. And one more time, we're going to take that forward fold, bend the knees, hang down, and grab opposite elbows, sway.